Okay, in this video, we're going to actually um, add some sprites. We're not going to actually create our own yet. We're going to use sprites that are available through GameMaker. We're going to eventually add sounds, backgrounds, objects, the level, you know, or the playing field and all that, and pretty soon you'll have what will look like a, a playable game. Um, we'll get to that, you know, step by step. But for starters, you know, we need uh, sprites or the images that are going to be in the game. So I'm going to add at least one sprite. And in order to do that, there are several ways. I can click over here where it says create a sprite, or I could right click on the sprite folder and choose create sprite. Okay? Now, here's uh, an important thing when it comes to game design that I'm going to be, uh, you know, definitely looking for when I evaluate your game. Um, the name of, of different objects or sprites or anything, resources I should say, that we use in your game should all have um, a, a, a consistent naming convention. And what that means is, in this case, we're going to have a sprite called STR, okay? And then I'm going to give it a, a, a name to define, you know, to, to identify it further. But SPR is what you would always use when you're talking about a sprite. And then, in my case, I'm going to then use a capital letter and then uh, the word ball. So this identifies that I'm going to have a ball. It's a sprite. Later, I might have an object called OBJ ball. But when it comes to programming and things, you're going to ultimately want to, uh, you know, have a, a consistent naming convention so you know what you've called things when you need to call back on them later. So in this case, I'm going to do it that way. Some people prefer a naming convention with like an underscore. Um, that's fine with me as long as you're consistent. I'm going to stay with this format. Okay, now I'm going to load a sprite in this case. Now, one of the nice things is Game Maker, in the Game Maker 8 folder, there's a folder of sprites, and in here there are a bunch of different, different um, types of images. There are also a number of resource packs that uh, I will download and show you where to find, which have you know a whole lot of other sprites and other resources. So I'm going to choose a ball for this one, and how about um, we use a? I think we'll go with a, a basketball for our purposes now, and I'll hit OK. So it's sprite ball. It looks like that. Okay, and I'm going to hit OK. Okay, so now. I have my first sprite, so that image I can use in the game as long as I give it, as long as I make an object with it, and so forth. Okay? So, for that matter, um, I'm going to, well, what I'll do for now is I'm going to have the, the ball, and I'm going to have, um, ultimately, we're going to want some things like maybe a wall around the room, and maybe some things that we have to avoid, or something like that. So, why don't we just add those while we're at it? We'll do sprite. I'll call this sprite um, wall, and we'll find a reasonable wall sprite. Here we go. We'll use that as our wall. Okay, and now we have so far um, a ball and a wall, and uh, we'll start with those because we can we can get a lot of. Uh, a lot out of what happens with those so far. And we're going to now add an object for each one. So again, with the naming convention, I'm going to use OBJ ball, and that will be for the ball. And now notice here where it says, remember, the sprite just basically let us pick the picture. The object lets us add events and actions. Okay, um, Events are like things like when the ball is created, maybe something can happen. So what will happen is the action. The event is when it will happen. Okay? Um, and we'll deal with those shortly. And then likewise we're going to add a object for wall and I'm going to use the sprite of the wall. Um, in this case, and I could have done it for the other two, I'm going to make sure the wall is solid and again I can add events and actions. Okay? So for now, I'm just going to set the stage for what we're going to be doing, and, and we'll make stuff happen shortly. Um, the next thing is I want to add a room so that there's actually a playing field. So I'm going to hit Create Room, 
And a couple of things I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the setting. My, my wall is 32 by 32. So um, a lot of sprites are that size, so I find it easier to work within that so that a, one of the pieces of the wall fits nicely in these boxes. Okay. And then under settings, I'm going to give this room a name, and I'll call it um, RM for room, and let's call it, let's say, level 1, or whatever it would be. And we'll call this for now level 1. That'll, it'll say that up top. And the width and height of the room, I have a lot of options. When we start creating a lot of different games, you might have some uh, rooms where the whole room shows up on the screen. You might later make some games where the player has to keep moving and the one room might span several screens. So as the player moves, so does the room, and it's like you know a game where there's a lot more to the level than just what you see on the screen. Um, if you remember from our examples with the arcade games and things, a lot of the classic arcade games, like especially Donkey Kong Pac-Man, they would have had a room where you see the whole level at one time. Um, other games that we'll explore later would not work quite that way. Okay, so I'm going to have my room set up, and now in my room I'm going to put some objects. So for our purposes right now at least, I'm just going to surround the room with a wall, and I can either click in each box, or if I hit shift and click, I can, I can um, drag it and it will, will uh, you know, follow me. Now, what you have to keep in mind is, see how I just made it bigger and these were not visible before, so I want to see the whole thing. So I'm going to now surround this like this, and now I'm going to click here for objects again and choose my ball, and I'm going to put a ball in the middle of the screen and that's what we're going to use shortly to do something with. At that point, I will stop this and let you give it a try.